Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. First of all, I just want to apologize for my lack of videos over the last few weeks. Normally I post every week, maybe twice a week sometimes, but I haven't posted for a while, mainly because I have been so busy and so stressed trying to get ready to travel to New Zealand. We are leaving in a week, exactly a week today. By the time you actually see this video, it'll be even closer to when we leave. And I should be so excited, I am excited but I just cannot get past the anxiety of the trip to New Zealand and I know I've talked about this before but I don't know what it is this time I just feel extra stressed about actually getting to New Zealand you know I've, I've traveled with kids many times before but this time I think is a little bit different I just want to get back to New Zealand so badly and I'm so close to getting there and seeing my family and my friends but I just have to get over the obstacle of actually getting there. Also, I think one of the reasons why I'm extra stressed this time has to do with the fact that I have three children. So even traveling with one child on a long haul flight is exhausting and stressful. So with three children, I don't know what I'm getting myself into, to be honest, but you know, I've got to do it. I need to just harden up and do it. Um, also, we've chosen a very, well, we haven't chosen, we have to fly a very complicated route, mainly because of the price. Ticket prices have gone up dramatically in the last few years, and we pretty much went with the cheapest flights for our family. So we have a six and a half hour flight from Frankfurt to Oman and we have a quick stopover in Oman then we jump on a plane and travel again for another six hours to Malaysia. Once we get to Malaysia we have a 13 hour stopover so I have organized a hotel during that time which will be great we can catch up on sleep and whatever else we need to. Then we jump on a plane and travel for 12 hours to Auckland, New Zealand. And then we stay a night in Auckland and we drive the next day with a rental car from Auckland to Hawke's Bay, which is where I'm from. There is an airport in Napier, New Zealand, but it isn't an international airport. And so if we added the domestic flights to our international flights, it would have taken our tickets up 2,000 euros more for that, just for, the, for a one hour flight from Auckland to Napier Airport and it just didn't seem worth it for us. Honestly, it would have been easier, of course, but we needed to save a little bit of money. It's worked out a lot cheaper for us to stay one night in a hotel and then get a rental car and drive the next day, which is a five hour drive. It's gonna be a massive trip. Also, I didn't add the fact that we have to wake up at four o'clock before four in the morning, the day that we're traveling and we have to jump on a train that will take us to Frankfurt Airport. And the train ride is going to be about two and a half hours, possibly three hours. Normally Rob's parents would drive us to Frankfurt Airport, which is about an hour drive on the autobahn, but they are in Poland right now, so they're not there to drive us, so we have to take the train. It's gonna <laughs> add a little bit more stress onto our trip. It's gonna be stressful regardless, <laughs> so we just have to accept the fact that it's going to be a crazy few days, it's going to be a big adventure, we're going to see a couple of countries on the way and I have to look at it lightheartedly. but I'm still anxious about all of the little details. On another subject guys, I just looked at the forecast and it is already 36 degrees Celsius out there and it's not even 12 o'clock in the afternoon. It's meant to get up to 38 degrees Celsius today and by the end of the week it's almost going to hit 40 degrees. During the last five years here in Germany I've just noticed a steady rise in temperatures. I do not remember it being this hot in Germany when I first came here like the first few years I was here it reached maybe 30 degrees and that was super hot but it's getting up to 40 degrees and that is almost unbearable 40 degrees I am extremely extremely thankful that we have an amazing cooling system in our house and our new house that we built I remember a couple of years ago when we lived in our in our old rented house it was unbearably hot we were on the second floor and it was just almost impossible to sleep with these really high temperatures so as I said it's 36 degrees right now and rising outside and you would never know sitting in my house right now I feel so comfortable I'm not sweating I'm not cold I'm not I'm not hot I just feel very very comfortable and 
it's because we we have a cooling system it's not air conditioning I'm trying to think of a way to explain this in English because I'm so used to hearing about this in German but it's basically a heat pump that uses thermal energy stored in the environment to heat and cool down buildings it is amazing the system is also extremely energy efficient I would like to talk about this more in a future video but it's just so complicated so basically that's a little summary of what it what it is so our heating system also flips over to a cooling system in the summertime and we can control the temperature we can make it like icy cold in here or we can make it just comfortable and it's amazing it is seriously amazing we also have a fresh air circulating system where we automatically have fresh air coming into our house and circulating through and we can control how much we want how little we want and we don't have to open our windows and air out our house seriously I I'm so grateful for this amazing new technology and it hasn't always been like this for me honestly we lived in the oldest most rundown house for so many years here in Germany so this is an absolute luxury to be able to experience this so I do want to end this video on a happy positive upbeat note I want to show you some of my recent cup she outfits summer outfits that I have been loving <laughs> during these summer months and you guys know that I love shopping at cup she they are an amazing company they have the cute cutest swimwear and summer dresses. Many of you enjoy these little fashion shows that I do so I thought why not show you what I have been wearing to keep cool during this German summer. Also before I forget I have a 15% discount code for you which you can use on the Cupshare website. I will link that in my description below. So first up is this cute little white cotton embroidery dress and as you can see it's off the shoulder. It has this cute little frill. It has these shell shell buttons and I'm pretty sure they're made from real shell they do look like real shell because it's 100% cotton it's very very cool and breezy to wear on those really really hot days like today I'm standing up on a chair here so you can get a better idea of what it looks like but it is just very very girly super cute a little bit mini but not too mini not too revealing and I love it so next up is this gorgeous bright red bohemian style wraparound dress and I love this dress so much I've been eyeing this one up on the Cup Share website for quite a while now I also have the same dress in navy blue with bright patterns all over it and I have just worn it so much I got this also from Cupshe and I was so excited to see that they had brought out a red version of the dress this is the perfect dress to wear on hot hot days like this because it is so light and breathable and it's just so so comfortable so it's a wraparound dress you can adjust it to fit your size so I'm going to show you the full dress so I'm going to stand up I'll stand up on this chair just to show you the full dress but it comes just above the knee I am very short so if you're a regular size person it will be more of a mini dress I guess you can just throw this on on a hot summer's day you don't have to think about anything else and you instantly look amazing and put together and I think it makes a real statement to this bright red and this really cool bohemian pattern I also could not resist picking up this dress here when I saw it I was like I have to have this color as well it's very similar to the last dress it's wraparound obviously it has this whole bohemian vibe going on it's a slightly different fit actually it's a little bit bigger so it's a little bit looser around this area here they didn't have an extra small so I had to grab the small and I do find this a little bit too big but as you can see it's just so flowy and breezy and summery I'll just give you a close-up of the fabric here because it is gorgeous and the sleeves are just really nice and flowy this is just the perfect style of dress to keep you cool on the really really hot days so I'm really happy with this one I do wish that they had it an extra small that's the only thing I would have grabbed the extra small okay guys so this dress here I don't know if the camera is doing it justice but it is so gorgeous it is this really beautiful rusty sort of burnt orange color I love this color I feel like it is just so romantic I love the cut here 
I love the flowy sort of bat wing sleeves and the buttons. It fits really nicely around this area here. So it comes like right down to my ankles. It is so flowy. Oh, I also saw on the Cup Shoe website that they have this in kind of like a bright turquoise green. It's a slightly different fabric, but it's a very similar cut and style. So yeah, I was really tempted to get that one as well, but I thought, no, I'm just gonna get the, the orange one for now. I may end up going back and getting the green one. So next up, I've got a swimsuit for you. I had to grab this one. I love the burnt orange color. This one's very, very basic, and I, I love just basic swimsuits. It's got these really cute sort of um, cutout things. I'm not really into high-waisted swimsuits. I don't think they look very good on me, but I do like the low waisted bikini bottoms um, I'll give you a better look at the top as you can see it's got this really nice little print I think they are sort of abstract little plants or flowers or something like that guys I can hear Lucas singing in his cot so he's just woken up from his nap that is my cue to wrap up this video Amelia will be arriving home from school very soon and I have to go and pick up Matteo from kindergarten and then it's all go 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 I really hope you enjoyed this little chit chat video and my cup she fashion show I also wanted to remind you that I have a 15% cup she discount code for you which I will leave in my description below if you liked any of these outfits thank you so much for watching guys I'm really hoping to get up one or two more videos before I leave for New Zealand if I don't please forgive me but I am aiming to get out a little bit more content before I leave and I will try my best to film when I'm in New Zealand so anyway enjoy the rest of your week and I will see you again really soon bye